Hello and welcome to the old flies. The Snegma C450 Coleoptere is an odd looking aircraft. It was a step in the vertical takeoff and landing progression. Only one experimental version was built. From the 1950s onwards, many companies were experimenting to produce a viable VTOL aircraft. Rolls-Royce pioneered VTOL with their Rolls-Royce thrust measuring rig becoming the first jet lift aircraft to fly in 1954. Then there was the Bell X-14 and the short SC-1 in 1957. The Hawker Siddeley P-1127 in 1960, the hunting H-126 in 1963 and the Aerospatiale Ludion in 1967. The dream was to produce an aircraft that could operate without the need for a long runway and transition to conventional flight. Runways are easily visible and vulnerable to attack during conflict. As the thrust to weight ratio of turbojet engines increased significantly for a single engine to be able to lift an aircraft, designers began to investigate ways of maintaining stability while an aircraft was flying in the VTOL stage of flight. Snigma had previously experimented with several wingless test rigs known as the ATAR Volant, which influenced the design of the Coleoptere. The Coleoptere featured a central core akin to the ATAR Volant, but differed in that the fuselage was surrounded by an angular wing. Austrian design engineer Helmut von Zerbowski had designed an innovative donut-shaped angular wing that could function as a power plant and airframe of a flying wing aircraft and produce less drag. Other annular wing designs have been the Blerio 3, Heichel Lursch, Hillier VXT8 and Lee Richards annular monoplane. It was theorised that such a wing on the Coleoptera could function as a ramjet engine and propel an aircraft at supersonic speeds. Dynamic control and stability of the Coleoptere was regulated by a series of four triangular winglets, only effective during conventional horizontal flight. Instead, control while hovering was provided by a series of deflecting vanes within the engine exhaust. A tilting seat allowed the pilot to sit upright when the fuselage was level. That pilot was Auguste Morel. The eye-catching design of the Coleoptere allegedly motivated the United States Navy to contract American helicopter manufacturer Carmen Aircraft to design its own annular wing vehicle nicknamed the Flying Barrel. In December 1958, the Coleoptere first left the ground under its own power while attached to a gantry. Several challenging flight characteristics were observed such as the tendency for the aircraft to slowly spin on its axis while in the vertical hover. Dead stick landings were deemed to be an impossibility. Morel conducted a total of eight successful flights, attaining a recorded maximum altitude of 800 metres. One of these flights involved a display of the aircraft's hover performance before an assembled public audience. The pilot unsuccessfully attempted to end a horizontal flight. He ejected when the aircraft became uncontrollable. Not all was lost. Knowledge was gained. Thank you for watching. Liking, subscribing and hitting the notify bell would help the channel and we do appreciate it.